people quite often ask me about different software licenses, and really the only one I really know semi well are, are some of the GPL licenses, which there are different versions of that. Um, mainly when I look for license, because I know that I like the GPL, uh, usually three or um, uh, was it the AGPL for server side stuff. Um, I mainly look, make sure that if I'm using code someone else created, uh, can I relicense it, sublicense it under the GPL code? That, that's my main concern um, when I'm using someone else's code. But if you want to know about different licenses and you um, don't want to read all the legal aspect of it or read the whole license, and, and I am no way being paid by this site. This is just a site I came across a couple months ago. You can type in the name of a software license and it gives it to you in basic plain English. Kind of like when you go to the Creative Commons website, you can read the full description of the, the license, the full license, or you can get the little symbols and quick breakdown. So for example, so this website is tldrlegal.com. Uh, and I can type in like GPL here and it gives you a list of different GPLs. I can do the LGPL, GPL3, GPL2. You can click on that and it gives you a breakdown. These are things you can do. These are things you cannot do and these are things you must do. Uh, and so I can come up here and uh, someone recently asked me about the Apache license. And, and one of the things when people ask about licenses, again, there's different versions, version one, version two, you know, so you can click on one of these version 1.1. So version two, it tells you the things you can do, you cannot do, and the things you must do. Or like if I do BSD, there's different BSD licenses. You can pick one and look at what it means. You can click another one and look at what it means. And it just breaks it down to these three simple columns, the things you must do. If you click on this, it gives you a little more description on what that means. You can use it for commercial use. You can modify it. You can distribute it. Uh, you can place a warranty yet. You're not, uh, you cannot hold the original people liable, the original developer for their code. Uh, you must include a copy uh, right and the license itself when you're redistributing it. So those are things you need to look at. And um, there are ways to, on this site, look at like the Microsoft licenses or, or proprietary licenses, I guess I'd just say. Uh, instead of distribution licenses, they're um, and user license agreements, which aren't broken down that simple because they are more complex. They're meant to be more complex because they're meant to catch you and stuff so they can sue you over stuff. So they aren't broken down as simply, but like here you can look at the, the Mozilla license. But um, as far as open source licenses and free software licenses, those sort of things, they tend to be broken down pretty simple because most of those things aren't a long list of things you can't do. They're just a couple of things saying that you can do. Um, and so it is easily broken down. And again, you may want to read more into it, but if you just need to have a quick question, oh, can I use this for commercial use, which a lot of these licenses you can, you can check right here. You know, and if you know, like I said, there's different versions of the BSD license. If you're you might you might get them mixed up, you can quickly and easily go to one and see what you can and can can do, cannot do. So again, that's um, TLDR legal. Dot com. If uh, later on you're trying to remember this, if you just Google like GPL in plain English or Apache in plain English, usually this will be the first site that comes up. Um, you can also Google something like GPL license for dummies, I think will also come up. Um, so yeah, so check that out. And that's just, you know, a quick little overview, a little tip for you. Hope that you have a great day. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. Uh, that's Chris of the K, filmsbychris.com. And uh, there you can quickly search through. I now have, I have more than one channel. I have two channels. And um, you can quickly search through videos from both my channels here. And uh, also, you know, find software that I've written, RSS feeds, contact me in different ways. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.